Baby, you don't know what it's like, yeah, to love somebody, bam, bam, to love somebody, mm -mm, the way I love you. Pouring down rain outside here this morning. I'd actually planned to go fishing this morning and show you these brand new jig heads live in action. However, I am not going to have the chance and who knows whenever that is going to let up. Now, I am always, when I tell you always, I mean multiple times a day, searching for new fishing products. I mean stuff that I may not have, new items that I'm interested in trying out. And these are made from a company called Reaction Tackle. I'll give you a moment to take a look at the brand there, Reaction Tackle, shout out to you. And I went ahead and got the, it's like a blue and chartreuse color. Without further ado, let's go ahead and get them opened up. Oh, there's more than I thought. So this set includes three of these jig heads. Hopefully you can see them all there on camera. Now let's get one opened up and let me show you what really caught my eye about these particular jig heads. They possess the capability of doing something that none of my other jig heads that I've ever owned can do. And that is because, let me get it up closer. Look right here at the top of the hook and check this out. Dude, are you kidding me? The whole top has free movement to go up and down, all the way up, all the way down, all the way towards you, and all the way, look at that. Can you imagine the action on that? So just imagine, look, notice the hook right back here. I ain't moving it. Look at his head. Bam, 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 bam. Dude, that has got to catch fish. Let's get something out of the uh, plastic bag right now. Plastics bag, the old tackle lock. Let me show y'all something. What I'm thinking of that I've got that may come the closest to a swim bait would be like a large size fluke. Anybody got any suggestions? I mean, I got worms, I got lizards. Of course, the lizards are not gonna look right with that, but to a bass, who cares, right? Got some white flukes right here, pink flukes, pumpkin seed flukes. Let's put a white fluke on here. Dude, those are some sharp hooks. I'll tell you that much right now. All right, let's thread it onto a fluke and see what it looks like. I'm trying to do it, you know how it is. I'm trying to get it on here just perfectly. Damn. Look at that underbelly on that thing. So we've got We've got it threaded up to the top here. Let's push it on up there just a little bit. Let's tuck it up under here. Now let's pull it on back. Bring that hook on through. There it comes. You can see it there. Make it look weedless. This will give us an idea. Now, this thing is free to move left and right, up and down. So just trying to think of something larger that may look cool with a fish head. I wouldn't care to see like even with one of these large worms. It's all about presentation. Hold up. I may have some more choices for us here. Ooh, this will have to look cool. Look, maybe kind of crazy, but let's get one of these old big worms. Look at the tail on these things, man. Look at that. Dude, these things got some crazy action. Now look at that. Are you guys seeing this? Do any of you already own jig heads or have you already been aware that there are jig heads that move like this? Because I've never seen them. You know, you probably uh, would have to be educated on what you were looking for to be able to go to the store and pick those out if they even had them. I wouldn't have even known to look for something like that because I didn't know it existed. It can move left and right. It can move up and down. So whenever, I, I can only imagine like this. So let's just say it fell to the bottom, sitting on the bottom here, right? We've got our line connected here. 
So if this thing was sitting at a dead sit still, and maybe you're just kind of like bumping it, bumping it, bumping it, in slow motion, I'm guessing, whenever you pop that line, dude, this head is going to react first, then pulling this, dude, it should give some even crazier action to the already crazy action of these larger plastics that's got these crazy tails like this Rage Anaconda, for example. So there is the example with it rigged up with the Rage Anaconda. Let me see if I've got anything else cool that we could thread onto here to get even one more example. Maybe some ideas. Ooh, you know what would look crazy, I bet? One of these, uh, you guys know about those brush hogs? Those are baby brush hogs, baby brush hogs. Where's the bigger ones? Baby brush hog, brush hog, right there. Watermelon. Oh, yeah, dude. They won't know what I'm throwing at them. So this is a brush hog. Always pull the arms off the side if you've never seen one of these. They've got some awesome action in the water. I've caught a lot of fish on these at Harrison Bay. Let's see what it looks like with one of those threaded onto it. Now I've got it up there and see what I was trying to do. Just trying to get it all the way up onto that point. I know most of you watching likely already know, but if you don't know and you're new to fishing and come to find out a lot of people are, notice how I just threaded this all the way up onto that point of the hook. Look, I stuck it in at the top middle and brought it back out just right there. So now look, you see how much of this hook is poking right up, up right there? You can line that up right here with a tip and look where you need to make your entry. It'll tell you right there at the bottom where the curve is meeting against the plastic. I'm going to try to Make a mental note right there. Bring it through exactly center of that point. Basically bringing it straight up through the middle and then bringing it back out. What I always like to do after I get that done, see right now this tip is still exposed. If you're throwing into any heavy cover, you can simply bring your plastic forward just a bit and allow it to come back on to that tip. Now that tip is completely covered. See this right here? And you can throw just about directly into weeds, over lily pads. Look how crazy that looks right there. Are you seeing this? I knew that would have to look cool. So again, this is one of the new jig heads with a brush hog. And not only do they have the movement, but look at the eyes. Let me try to get a close up shot of the eyes for you because they've got some heavy holographics inside the eye. I'm trying to turn it slowly to hopefully give you a shot on camera. So, and then look, okay, you can see it up close. Look at the back of that jig. I mean, these are not any cheap jigs, guys. Look at that paint job. See the scales in the blue? And then going from the blue blending into like more of the like turquoise into the chartreuse yellow fading down into the white belly so all three i picked that color so all three of them are the same color there you go guys you can click the link now i've got them attached to this video i did find these inside of my tiktok shop and just wanted to share them with you this is a three-piece jig head set. I'm not sure if it states what size um, these hooks are. And this is the Sexy Shad color, by the way, that I ordered. So this is the Sexy Shad quarter size three-piece set. The heads move up and down, left and right. Whatever plastics you put onto them, I've just got everything Texas rigged here. Just imagine, for all of you fishermen that know about fishing, so I'm talking to you guys now and girls that are in the know, 
Just think about how much action that's going to give your existing plastics just by having the ability to pop that head first. That's got to give them some action that you just can't get pulling from a stationary base point right there like we typically do. So I appreciate everyone tuning in. Thanks for checking out these new jig heads with me. Appreciate your time. We talk to each of you inside the next video.